last example in this section is let me find where that is okay so it is 18x to the fourth minus 29x squared plus 3 equals 0. Once again it's not a quadratic but if you look at it it's x squared and then x to the fourth so I can let my v or any letter for that matter equal x squared so if that's the case then x to the fourth is just v squared, right, because it's x squared squared is x to the fourth, and then 29v plus 3 equals 0. So, uh, let's see, 18 times 3 is 54. So we're looking at things that multiply to 54 but add up to negative 29. So it is 18v squared uh, minus 2v plus 27v plus 3 equals 0. So from the first two, I can factor out a 2v. So I get a 9v minus 1 and from, oh, I made a mistake, this is a negative, right, because it has to add up to be a negative 29 and multiply to be a positive. So I can take out a negative 3, and if I do that, I'm left with a positive 9v and a negative 1 equals 0. So I get 2v minus 3 is, or multiply by 9v minus 1, is equal to 0. So we have 2v minus 3 equals 0 as our first one and then 9v minus 1 equals 0. And when we add 3 and divide by 2 I get v equals 3 halves for this one and then v equals 1 ninth for this one. Keeping in mind that v is x squared. So in other words x squared equals 3 halves and x squared equals 1 ninth. So we have to take the square root of both sides. So we get x equals plus or minus square root of 3 halves. And then x equals plus or minus square root of 1 ninth. So for this one, we can't do much. But for this one, I can say it's plus or minus 1 third. And from here, I'll leave it up to you to plug it back in here and see and check that all of these solutions work.